how's everyone doing? I'm Eater Z here, and today I've got a gameplay of Black Ops on launch, I believe, and I'm playing Gun Game. No, I'm not betting a lot of money. <laughs> I'm doing Anti Up, which requires uh, 30 COD points. Uh, the first, the the winner gets 30 COD points, and I think you only need 10 to buy your way in. But I decided to give it a shot. It's actually my probably second or third major match pretty deep into uh, Black Ops level 40 something during this game and it's a lot of fun you get to try out uh, guns that you uh, prob probably wouldn't try out normally because uh, for me uh, I just stick with either the FAMAS or the AK-74U haven't switched at all <laughs> but <coughs> after playing gun game and even sharpshooter uh, which gives you random guns and with random atta attachments you get to see <coughs> that uh, there's other guns uh, there are guns other than just the FAMAS or AK-74 <coughs> excuse me and uh, I recorded this game I think like a month ago cause, uh, but I didn't actually get a chance to comment over it because I was busy with exams I uh, just finished recently my last was on Friday. Finally, finally free. <laughs> and I'm just playing. Been playing Black Ops. A lot of fun. Getting back into it. But also I went back to playing Halo for a bit. But well, there's a noticeable frame rate difference. So you can't really, if you uh, play Halo after that, it's a big jump in, a uh, big drop in frame rate, and it kind of <laughs> kills the game for you. But it's still a lot of fun. Uh, both games are. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to stick with just one game play it. So I picked up um, Mass Effect 2 two days ago. Finally decided to give it a shot because uh, I had heard a lot of good things about it. But I never really uh, decided, I didn't decide to get it because RPGs really aren't my thing. And I mainly stick with just uh, first person shooters. But after. X Play gave it Game of the Year for 360. I was like, ah, why not? So I just went to GameStop, got it, and been having a lot of fun with it. And it's it's a good break from I would, uh, I would say the normal sh first person shooters, because it's a different style of game. It's like RPG and third person. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of fun, and it's great to look at too. So it's not like it's uh, outdated or anything. It's it's a great game overall. I think it deserved game of the year. Also, uh, for those of you who don't know, I use uh, a pair of headphones uh, when I game. I don't like to hear uh, disturb everyone in the house because I usually play games at night, and I use a pair of headphones. But I was trying to. I'm actually looking for either Turtle Beaches or Trident or headsets like that. And oh my God, <laughs> I hate the crossbows my first time using it I'm gonna fail a lot <laughs> I cannot hit anyone with that why do they have crossbows in this I don't get it but whatever that's how you find out <laughs> where you're good, ba good at and where you're not but yeah I was looking at the turtle beaches I came across this post that I read I just thought it was so retarded so this guy he basically says gamers who use headphones have a serious advantage over gamers who don't which <laughs> it's kind of a dumb statement to make because that's like saying, oh, uh, people who have a high definition high definition TV uh, have an advantage over people who have a standard definition TV 480p over 1080p, and that's like that's like saying, oh, they can see better and the the people with standard TVs can't. It's kind of a dumb uh, uh, statement to make because uh, headphones is basically for your own it's not gonna it doesn't help you in any way I don't think unless you're using ninja and sound whoring but it's basically so you don't miss any of the action like whatever you hear is just like right in the ear and you're basically not disturbing anyone that's that's how I see it so that's why I use them I don't use it so to get an advantage over anyone because I don't see if there's an advantage at all yeah that's what that's what I read. <laughs> it kind of it, it's just funny the comments, some of the comments that gamers make. It's so obnoxious. But 
I think uh, and this gameplay was before the patch, I believe, where Treyarch supposedly fixed the sniping. It's still it's still not as good, better, but not as good. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. But before you leave, here is the best video ever. Later.